ऑटोग्राफी प्रोजेक्ट इन मीन इट इज अ मेथड ऑफ रेप्रेजेंटिंग थ्री डायमेंशनल ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन ए पेपर यूजिंग सेवरल टू डायमेंशनल ग्रीव means all the objects whatever we use that and all will be three dimensional right but in the drawings we can able to write only two dimension uh, dimensional view of it either front view top view side view like this we need to see in a different uh, uh, views and we need to collect all the information and then we need to write the drawing you can see here we have an example of an house if you want to show the all the information of the house so we need to see the house in a different view front view and we will write the information of that what is height and what is the length of that and how the uh, roof and all will be seen and by seeing the side view we will get the information of the breadth and all and by seeing the top view we will get the uh, some other information like this and any object if you want to draw the three dimensional object if you want to draw the, if you want to draw the drawing of that we need to collect the information of different views complete if you want to get complete information means we need to see the object in different views and we will draw the a drawing of that this process is known as orthographic projection for that we need to follow in uh, a method so that method means we need to keep the object observer and plane of projection see here this is a plane of projection and this one is the object and here the observer so these three should be kept in line and observer should be see the object this is the projection line we can say so that that is the directions of uh, projection we need to see the object in a manner that all the rays should be parallel to each other and this rays should perpendicular to the object then only we will get the shadow of this object and then we will uh, get the information of it so this is a friend we are seeing from the front of the object we are seeing so then we will get the front view and same way if you see from the side we will get the side view and like left side or right side we will get the left side view or right side view and when you see it from the top you will get the top view like this we will get the all the information and we will write it on the 2d paper this is what orthographic projection next topic we are discussing orthographic projection so what is meant by orthographic projection The orthographic projection means representing the three-dimensional objects in a two-dimensional paper, paper or the drawing sheet by using different views. That means if we take the object, how it should be followed. Say this is a, a three-dimensional object. This object is having length, breadth, as well as height. So this is having three dimension. If you want to draw the image or drawing of this object on a two-D paper, it that in the drawing all the information should be drawn how should we do by seeing the object in different view front view side view top view and we draw the, the image of this uh, object and all the dimension should be followed so that is what this process is uh, known as orthographic projection again i will repeat it is said a three dimensional information of an object is writing on a 2d paper two dimensional by seeing the object in different views okay how we should be follow which direction should be seen and coming to the point see the object is like this the first is uh, like you are the observer and this is the object and this is a plane of projection so you it should be keep it in line so you are observer and this is the object and this is a plane of projection and next the view all the direction the view whatever you see it should be parallel then only we will get the true length true image on the plane of projection now you are seeing it then the shadow will be fall on the plane of projection see like this the shadow will be fall on here and we will get the the image of this objects like this is that it like this you are seeing your object and plane of projection the shadow of this object will be fall over here so that is a front view that means the direction of the projections the view it should be perpendicular to the object it should not be inclined if you make inclined then image will be become bigger that is a different uh, projection method or in orthographic projection the plane of project that the projection line should be always perpendicular to that and it should be you know parallel to each other okay then only we will get the true image shadow on the plane of projection like this we will get the 
a front view. In that front view, what we get? Length and as well as height we will get. Okay, next. If you want to get the width, what we need to do? So we need to either we see it from the top, the top view. When you see it from the top, how it will be looks? It will be looks like an a square. This is a square prism object. So if you see it from the top, only you see top is this portion you can see. How it will be looks when you see it from the top? Isn't it? You can see like this. Only the top face of this prism, it will be like look like a square. Then side view. Say if you see it from the side, the side view also it will be again it look like a rectangle. So it will be come like this. Got it? This is what the orthographic projection. If you take another object, I took that prism. Now I take the pyramid. How this pyramid will look? See the front view of saying it. Only you can see this triangle face right. Then the front view will be like this. Got it. And then the top view. See top view, all the edges are matching. Only you can see the borders and it look like a square. Along with that, see these are the four edges from the apex. These are all you can see. So that's why you have to join the center. Like these are the, the four edges like this. Then side view. Inside view again it looks like a triangle. Got it. This is how the orthographic projection works. So again I will explain here. The observer observer Objects plane of projection like this. All needs to be kept like this, and the observer should be see the object. The projection, projection lines should always parallel and it should perpendicular to the object and then the shadow will be fall on the plane of projections like this. We will get the front view similarly. In the same way we need to see the object in different view. For example front view and top view and side view like this or keep the object in Give the uh, different faces, front, top, and side view, and we will draw the the projections, the shadow on the plane of projection, and we will get the all the information of this object. This is how orthographic projection works.